but there's no other MP for Kandara except Alice Wahome. So I, I find it, you know, really disrespectful. And as I've shared with the other leaders of Tangula, Musalia, it can happen in Bugoma, it can happen in Bondo, it can happen in 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 uh, in, uh, in, Vihiga, in in Mululu. It is not right because the Honorable Alice Wahome is the only member of parliament for Kandara. Many may not want like it, but unfortunately that is a reality. And I feel bad because uh, uh, we didn't all want to speak because it was not a political event. But uh, the Honorable Alice Wahome had a message from the Deputy the President. Men, you and, uh, you know, whatever has happened is, is, is very is very sad, really, you know, politics aside. But anyway, I hope that through this, you guys in the media, please record our condolences to the family of Joel Kibe uh, on our own behalf, on our behalf of our colleagues, on behalf of uh, the Deputy President, who would really have wanted to be here. Uh, someone is asking me about what happened at the JKA yesterday. I think I don't want to speak much, but I just want to say, for those who have been going around saying that William Ruto is not the deputy president, now you know he's still the deputy president. That's a good side of it. That my good friend Tinga is not the deputy president. Yeah, it was proven yesterday. We wanted to start doing Arabes to buy him tea and mandazi, but now we know he's still the deputy president. So we will leave childishness to those people who want to pro practice childishness. For us, we are going to remain focused, we remain mature, and we remain the reasonable people. And, and I don't want to add more to that because, uh, because uh, everybody can see, even children can see what kind of Madarao is happening in this country. Further, I want to say that uh, there has been some talk, and that is why Alice is not going to be given a chance, Moses is not going to be given a chance. It's all about one thing. There are some people in this country who are not committed to a peaceful transition. And that is the whole thing you're seeing here. But I promise them it's going to be fire in this country. They can take me wherever they want to take me. It is going to rain fire and brimstone if somebody tries to tamper with the election date of the 9th of August. Next Tuesday is a public holiday to some of us. Because it is exactly one year, exactly one year before 9th of August next year. It is just next week on Tuesday. And from that time we are on preparation. I am very happy and I'm satisfied and on behalf of our team that uh, we are uh, nearing the tail end to naming the extra commissioners for IABC. Because now we should only have one mission. And that one mission is about preparing for a peaceful uh, election which is credible, which is transparent and which is verifiable. We did pass a law in 2016 as part of the Orengo Kereito Committee in which I was a member that no changes in electoral technology, in electoral processes, should happen one year before the election. So we should be asking ourselves, do we have enough BVL kits? Are they working? Is the resource transmission work, working? Is all the Kim's technology working? That is the only agenda we have. We are waiting eagerly, like everybody else, for the 20th of August, uh, the ruling on the, on the BBI. But in any case, we, it is impractical to have BBI, to have a referendum before the next general election. And I want to say this, a summary from Mount Kenya region. We've been told that uh, that BBI is for giving us resources so that we can have more bursaries. Just tell me, when me I went to school, when Joel Kibbe went to school, when Wakiri Murewu and Alice here, and these are lawyers, I was a banker, Joel Kibbe is a big businessman, there was no bursary and there was no CDF. But our parents were able to educate us. Some people have impoverished us, they have made us poor, they are making sure that our coffee is not working. They are making sure our tea is not working. Our milk is not working. Our small business is not working. Then they come and cheat us that our enemy is somebody else, I don't know, from Galicia or whatever, so that we need to glorify uh, bursaries in the name of BBI. Can you imagine the whole country having constitution about bursaries? And we were affording our parents, like Joyce's parent, uh, mother who we are laying here today, could afford uh, school fees. We know who our enemy is. People are asking about that we are confusing this bottom-up agenda. Let me tell them, Joel Kibe, our friend here, is actually, let him just come and get his story here. He came from bottom here in Kabati to top, whatever he is. It's that simple. What's the difficulty with that? But some people who want us to remain at the bottom, they don't want us to go to the top. We keep on obfuscating this issue and creating a matter of confusion. 
we are going to change this country and we are going to transform this country. And for the first time, if you want to know what is bottom up, turn the upper Kabati, I show the bottom and I show you the Nyumba, where they live. Then we go up to Nairobi. Thank you.